We need to talk about the most anticipated sports video game of all time and how ridiculous it is that one of the most anticipated college football players of all time has refused to participate in its release. Art Manning, what are you doing, buddy? This week, Anwar Richardson reported that Texas backup quarterback Art Manning was refusing to sign over his rights to use his likeness in the upcoming release of EA Sports NCAA 25. And what was the reason for that? And while Richardson sources say it's because he's focused on playing football on the field too focused to sign an electronic PDF five months before the season starts. Is he implying that anybody that does sign their likeness over in exchange for 600 bucks and a free copy of the game is unfocused. Come on, bro. Especially when he's one of the few players that could have negotiated a deal significantly over the 600 bucks. Look, I'm aware that this is Ark Manning's decision. And I am well aware that a grown man complaining about a kid's decision not to appear in a video game is as bad of a look as choosing not to appear in a video game in the first place. But my issue isn't with Ark's decision. It's with the reason. And if Ark wants more money, just say so. If the Manning family lawyer doesn't like the way the blanket deal is structured, just say so. You actually might help other players along the way. But the idea that the nephew of football superstars Peyton and Eli Manning, whose on-field success was never derailed or called into question by their appearances in MasterCard or DirecTV commercials, that he can have his focus derailed by a pixelated version of himself? Man, get the hell out of here. There has to be another reason. And without that actual reason, we're left to speculate. Does Ark Manning hate fun, hate video games? Are the Mannings planning their own competing football game? Does the Manning family have a grand plan for his NIL? I'm not mad if they do. Or does he think he's going to be able to formulate some sort of Michael Jordan plan who famously refused to grant his use of his likeness in video games until well after he retired? And does he not realize that a lot of kids actually hated on Mike for making himself unnecessarily inaccessible when he had all the money in the world at his disposal? Because I hated it. You just wanted to play with Michael Jordan. And people are gonna want to play with Ark Manning because at the end of the day as much as I like video games and as excited as I am about the return of NCAA this game is about exposing the kids to the magic of college football and kids didn't understand that Michael Jordan didn't want his likeness included in any substandard games they thought he was just greedy and if they didn't understand that they're definitely not going to understand Ark's reasoning because Ark I think the kid is a good kid and he's only got one corporate NIL deal that is publicly known, and that's an exclusive trading card partnership with Panini America, which included a charitable auction that raised over $100,000 for various hospitals. Imagine the good that Art could do taking eight seconds of his time to sign his personal autographed copy of NCAA and auctioning it off to charity. But instead... He's too focused. Got to stay locked in 24-7 in Austin. You can't be out here taking time away from the playbook by letting kids use you in franchise mode and making sure that Texas is back. I mean, NIL partnerships didn't stop B. John Robinson from becoming Texas football yards per carry leader. And multiple NIL partnerships haven't kept Quinn Ewers from successfully leading the Longhorns as their actual starting quarterback. But maybe that lack of focus is what kept B. John from going top five in the draft. Maybe that lack of focus is what kept Texas from beating Washington in the college football playoff. Maybe the whole Texas team needs to opt out, you know, to focus. I kid. But at the end of the day, Ark Manning is in control of how his name, image, and likeness is used. And if he can handle carrying around the Manning last name, he can definitely handle the criticism that comes with opting out of a video game. But if he thought inclusion was a distraction, it's nothing compared to the distraction created by excluding himself and letting the narrative be that he's more locked in than everybody around him. But maybe Ark is playing the long game. Maybe his absence will make the heart grow fonder and EA will put him on the cover of NCAA 26 just to get him to agree to participate. Or maybe Texas fans are just going to have to take on the SEC gauntlet with unnamed QB 16 the way we used to have to play with shooting guard 23.